consume some exotic meat on a hot stone. Well, that sounds fantastic. To this thing that I'm wearing is actually pajamas. To really having nothing but a banana to cook on fire. You know what? I'll circle back on this banana story. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Women Who Travel. I have another video for you all. And before I say anything, I wanted to thank everyone for the wonderful, empowering messages you've been sending me on Instagram. So thank you so much. Let's keep that positive energy rolling. And I am going to now take you guys on another trip to Alberta. It's COVID. The stage three in Alberta opened up. I decided I will go on a trip to Alberta Calgary, Banff, Jasper and uh, celebrate the small things in life and appreciate freedom, the journey. So I took an Uber um, to get to the airport. It was too early for TTC and also it was unsafe, sort of. It's funny though, I mean, on the one side I'm taking a plane to go to another city and on the other hand I'm just scared of TTC and getting COVID from there. Ridiculous. Airport in Toronto was pretty much empty. Calgary was also pretty empty. I wore a um, heavy duty N95 mask as you can see. Everyone was wearing a mask. Um, most airlines are keeping the middle seat vacant but um, there are some airlines like WestJet and others which are not really doing it. This story, this experience is going to be me and Angelsia going together and then I also reached out to this wonderful blogger and she'll be sharing some of her experiences as well. Hey guys, my name is Brianne. I'm a travel consultant based out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm a born and raised Albertan. of a walk around the city or bike around the city kind of person and this exploration of walking around Bow River I don't know if they call it Bow River or Bow River I think it's Bow could be Bow anyways I'm gonna say it Bow I, I was exploring the city on my own and uh, I started walking from one side of Bow River I took a bridge to the other side and I walked all the way around took the bridge back and um, so there are a lot of bridges um, on the river and you can actually do this kind of like rectangular walk around which is amazing because in some points the water is actually closer some places farther somewhere you'll see like rocks and then water um, and at the end I just sat down on a bench which was literally like waiting for me with a tree on the side and I just sat there I read a book I wrote Alberta is known for their meat, especially the beef. Um, so definitely go to any one of these steakhouses and enjoy it. I went to Morton Steakhouse and it's slightly more pricey and a bit more high end. If that's the kind of experience you're looking for, um, I'm usually very food centric so I like spending on uh, good food. So if you are one of those people and you enjoy that, then I would 100% recommend going there and having their delicious meals. My favorite thing to do in the summer is to go hang out at Princess Island Park. You can go floating down the river, uh, you can go kayaking. There's actually a spot on the river where you can surf, which is super cool. Or if you're not up for that, you can even just watch them. It's quite entertaining. You can hop on some scooters and scoot down to the East Village. The one thing in Calgary is I find that you do have to be willing to approach people. People won't approach you. There's not, we don't get a whole lot of, of travelers through here. Um, 
through the city particularly that are out looking to meet people. So definitely just be open to approaching people and don't be afraid to do it. Calgary did teach me a few things about rediscovering the joy of journey. Relearning that food experiences outside in public places with friends and with other people can be an amazing reason to celebrate the little things in life. So in short, if I'm supposed to tell you guys about Calgary, um, it's about peaceful time, good food, and Bow River. That's basically the crux of it. If you spend like a week there, um, you'll realize that there's not much to do after that. Guys, I'm gonna show you something. Wait for it. This is actually a bubble tea. Look at this bottle, so cute. For Banff and Jasper, there is no other way better than renting a car or taking a car. You can take the buses, but if you go on a hike for two or three hours, then you're like, oh, that wasn't enough. I want to go check out this hike. If you're on a bus, you don't really have that opportunity. So Banff and Jasper were really more of a road trip for us. A lot of people will say life is all about the journey, not about the destination. Sometimes in the midst of everything, you forget this. And so had I. Near July, when um, I realized I have my birthday coming up, I thought, why not? They're beautiful. Guys, right, check this out. And Delphia, say hello. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna mention any other food stuff in Banff except for this grizzly house. Wow. <laughs> can't say enough about how amazing that food experience was it was super expensive just fyi you gotta have money to have this experience but every penny worth it no really uh, good to know the wild boar as well that has to be cooked all the way through for me okay everything red you can cook as well as you like so you can take one minute for red two minutes for medium that's perfect Okay. Thank you. Right. And for your lobster, we can leave this butter on. Got your oh. mouth and you can dip your lobster in that. Oh, okay. Great. Right. Enjoy. Thank Thanks you. So much. After our delicious three course meal, um, towards the end, we had this sudden realization that we had been sitting there for so long. <laughs> Around three to four families had walked in, had their food stepped out and we were just still there and um, I think the best part about that grizzly house experience was yes the food itself but also the fact that we didn't care about the people around us what they were thinking of us 
Um, we were just ourselves, being stupid, being na <laughs> being noobs. Um, me not knowing <laughs> how to get around with the fondue idea, and uh, and Jelsia just making goofy jokes. <laughs> Then there was this one moment where we just started talking about something and we started laughing and uh, we kept laughing and laughing to the point it was like a laughter fit. They're not sponsoring me, so uh, don't think I'm giving these recommendations because I get money out of it or or they ask me to sponsor this. Well, there are a lot of exotic meats that they offer as well, uh, like elk, uh, snake, um, deer meat. And some others too, I, I keep forgetting. So we did try some of the exotic meats, but we didn't go crazy. Oh, there was also, I think, alligator meat. Damn. If you are the kind of person who would be like, I'm gonna go all experimental, they have a lot for you. Um, a lot of uh, hiking trails in Banff. There's always a hike. You could just pull over on the side of the road anywhere and, and hike and find some beautiful view, lots of waterfalls. Make sure that you are prepared for your hikes. If you're going hiking, bring water, bring snacks, bring bear spray. Um, even if you're going on a well-populated hike, there's been a lot of bear sightings. So make sure that you are fully prepared. We were really scared. No, I, I shouldn't say we. I should say I was really scared of bears and encountering one to the point that we didn't even encounter any wildlife hello i was looking forward to some deers and some you know some smaller stuff that i could talk about and be like i was walking around and i found that wildlife all around me i can't say that this is just amazing We took the trail called the Hoodoos um, hiking trail and we didn't walk all the way. It was like three, four hours uh, one way. It was very basic beginner intermediate level. I wasn't much prepared, I was just wearing my basic sneakers. I, should, I could have been more prepared, but that's how it is. I'm never so prepared. So we walked all the way and there was this beautiful waterfall same bow river and there was a, a drop point where the water really gushes and it's beautiful people are a big part of my journey whether it's life whether it's a trip and if covid has taught us anything at all it's the value of the people you have in your life so Sometimes you go with some people and you realize you two are totally different in your approach and you're totally different in the kind of trip that you wanted and Even though you're both flexible people you just understand that this is not gonna work but sometimes you go with someone and you realize you're really on the same page It's like brainwaves and this is what was happening with me and Angelsia. We were just like on the same brainwave walked all the way in the forest and we found this one beautiful beach like a small beach water was super cold so don't get too excited but it was i think it was too cold for me but angelica just kind of just jumped in and she was just like i love it and she's like you gotta dip your toes in it so i got a little adventurous and i stepped in the 
water was ice cold. Ice cold. My feet were red. Everyone's really sweet, so everyone will say hello and have fun and those kind of greetings, which I'm not used to in Pakistan, but I think I'm kind of used to of that a little bit in Canada, so it was really nice. Those hips can backwards, only ain't afraid of your move. Before we were actually heading there, we were like, you know, how different is Jasper really gonna be? Like, everyone keeps saying, oh, Jasper is just so amazing, it's their favorite place. But we were a little skeptical, we we're like, okay, well, we're going there, but what are the chances it's gonna be the same as Bam? But when we went there, even like the drive there, I get dreams about driving in that place. It's the most beautiful landscapes and the most beautiful views that you will ever have. This one time you are like going uphill and then you are in like a flat land with water all around you and ice fields and greenery and the beautiful road winding I can't describe it in words I can't even capture it but you're doing it <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> on our way back from Jasper to Calgary we did a lot of pit stops because we didn't have a lot of time uh, going from Banff to Jasper but we had the whole day from Jasper to Calgary and we had decided we're gonna do a lot of pit stops for simplicity sakes and for this video to be interesting I'm going to share these pit stops on the journey from Banff to Jasper instead but we kind of did it the other way around so all these stops are what makes this road trip fabulous I think it was also because of the connection I felt with nature. Nature is so healing, which is kind of not there when we are in cities and in urban spaces. The more we disconnect with nature, the more we step away from ourselves in a way. One hour in a natural spot just reading a book is so much more healing than hours and hours on TV or in our urban spaces. Nassim Nicholas Taleb in his book, Anti-Fragile, kind of talks about the same thing and he says, This is the central illusion in life. That randomness is risky. That it is a bad thing. And that eliminating randomness is done by eliminating randomness. Adding a little bit of spontaneous stuff in your life adds spice adds joy and adds randomness which just to remind you is one of the essentials of life itself if it wasn't for the big bang and the chaos afterwards we wouldn't even be here
Maybe I will live in the mountains for winter. How cool would that be? Why not? If we're going to get a second wave of COVID and I got Alberta healthcare, that's the only thing about moving back to BC. It's like, if something happens, yeah. how easy to get treated, you know? Oh, yeah. Like I'm an Albertan, I'm out of province. Okay. Oh my god. Terrifying. It's so terrifying. Oh yeah. Like this is making This is crazy. <laughs> Throughout Banff and Jasper there are a lot of canyon and rock formations because of the water. Um so you'll get to see a lot of that. Those hips can tilt backwards, only ain't afraid of your moves. I gave up on certain things, many moons ago. Because I am making a video. <laughs> so, how do you feel? <laughs> okay, we're going up to the <laughs> up to the glacier. Very impromptu. Let's see. This thing that I'm wearing is actually pajamas. That was the only warm thing I had, and uh, I turned it into a scarf, and so did Indelcia. <laughs> so, what you gotta do with what you have. That is where we came from. You see these little cars parked. And then they have these markings with the years. How these are basically like marks where the glacier used to be in that year. Now we are walking up to where it is okay <laughs> we're finally at the glacier i want to show you what it looks like and there it is this is where it is it's like frozen in time if you can see this it's like waves of water almost frozen in time and history look at that windy here and they say it's a it's called catabatic winds which is from the glacier and they're more colder and of course stronger maybe you can hear them and this is how you can actually make your pajama look better than how it was Cottage looks like look how amazing this is. And then welcome. <laughs> Jasper. 
Um, the breakfast is really good, and this one bakery. I highly, highly recommend you have the breakfast there. They have the most delicious baked food, and the coffee is amazing. With that we packed our bags and were on our way back as i said in the beginning i really relearned the value of enjoying the journey appreciating the little things like the people we have in life the connections we build the small moments where we laugh or we share our stories and um, our sad moments sharing food adding spontaneity to our lives appreciating nature and how healing nature is all these things were a great reminder my intention by sharing this journey and taking you guys along was also to take you guys out of that space you were stuck in because of covid and give you guys a refreshing experience i do the same i kind of turn on a lot of youtube videos and just i want to transform and go into another world where I can't go in real but virtually I can go there. So I hope you had a taste of um Calgary, Banff and Jasper through my journey. I did share a Google Doc with all the list of the recommended places. Yes, I did for you guys. Um feel free to use it, feel free to share it. And one of my friends, Chloe, shout out to her. She sent me a huge list of food places, things to do in Calgary, Banff and Jasper. And don't forget to subscribe because that really makes a difference in the effort that I'm putting in.